said Sim Cruz and X Names, those are the two artists I'm having today. Yeah, second time over, we had to shoot, and that we didn't actually shoot. I see you guys also got like my visuals on YouTube. Who does your video? What's good, everybody? It's about Bahalik, the one and only rapper, listed rapper. I came to gangsta rolling my easy. You see, like I said, I got a lot of hair. That's a fact that I know. You feel me? See, you guys, better chill in the comment section. You feel me? I got like comments last time of people telling me that they wanna do my hair, you feel me? They finna, you know, they know some styles that like I could potentially do. But at this point I'm like, yo, I just wanna be myself, you feel me? Just have hair out for like a day or two or something. Cause you see, I got a lot of hair. That's a fact that I've already accepted. So today's vlog is basically me meeting up with an artist I was supposed to meet up with last time, you feel me? But it couldn't happen simply because the artist was busy. Again, I do get situations whereby artists are busy and they can't really pull up or something, and then we end up postponing stuff. So today, I'm actually about to run late. I'm not late yet, but I'm gonna be late, I know, because the walking distance from here to there is a bit longer. So the thing is, I gotta go to Wise's Crib, you feel me? I gotta go to Ludgy Ice Crib, take them, and then we move, and then we go to the event, you feel me? And I'm saying event because it's a vlog, it's an event for me, you feel me? So I won't be announcing the, today's artist, I won't be announcing, I won't be announcing today's artist simply because that's my motto, you feel me? I don't announce artists until we're at the show and we're vlogging and everything. So, I thought this artist wasn't gonna text, but like right now I was checking my text and I figured out that he's saying he's on the way, you feel me? I just added him right now and started texting and then, then told me they're on the way. So I don't want to be late too. As soon as he gets there, I also want to be there. Because, you know, it's going to be a bad look of me. I'm hosting a show and then I'm late. I don't want that. So with not much talking, you feel me? Let's get straight down to business and jump into the intro. And let's go. Let me lock them up. I told you I came in the winning. I don't really mind my business for nothing. Look, spend the time all the time you really wanna know. I be working hard cause I really want pants. What's good, everybody? It's a boy up a the one and only rapper, Mr. Rapper. I changed the game, still worthy, man, easy. So right now, as I told you guys, that I'm gonna be interviewing an artist that didn't know it's gonna be artists, you know? So, I'm having two artists with me, you feel me today? So last time we were supposed to shoot and everything, so I supposedly, you know, told them that the day we were supposed to vlog was, you know, let's say on Wednesday, you feel me? In my head, I, th I thought I told them it's Wednesday. And then, actual facts, I checked the text and everything, and then I realized it was actually on Tuesday. So when they pulled up, I didn't want it to have like, you know, uh, miscommunication or, you know, disrespect in a way. And I just had to pull up and actually tell the gents for me face to face. Because I feel like it's respectful that way. Tell them face to face that, you know, what I thought the day was and what actually happened for me. So they understood that last time before me. And then we had a second time over we had to shoot. And that we didn't actually shoot because they were also busy on their side. But I was like, you know, it's cool, you feel me? Um, situations do happen and things do come up here and there, you feel me? And today actually is the day, you know, it's the day whereby I'm vlogging with Sim Cruz and X Lanes. So it's Sim Cruz and X Lanes, those are the two artists I'm having today, you feel me? So, first things first, I wanna know how you guys, you know, met up and everything. How did you guys come about, you know, having this friendship and having this, you know, um, thing whereby you guys wanna do music together? So regardless of which you guys are responding yes to do or anything, it still don't matter. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm gonna say shiny season. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Shiny season. Alright, so I'm gonna do all my freestyle. I'm gonna skip. Alright, we do this side. We skip. We break. So you guys been kicking it since since yeah yeah. Alright, that was like in grade what? You know, we got grade two. So for me, I have a friend, Kamala Kuluma, so me and him been kicking it since grade 8 and 9, I was in grade 9, and he was in grade 8, and then we just figured we to keep, we both doing music, you feel me, and we're friends, we didn't really fully know about everything, but like since grade 8 and 9, we've been kicking it, 
even post high school, which is right now, you're from here, and you're still just working things out. So I want to know about um, how you guys started off doing music. How was, from the start, really, when you realized you the I feel like I want to do music. Okay, when you say Maskandi and the performances I've seen from you doing hip hop, it's kind of hard to see you doing Maskandi. Yeah, you know I talk. You know I talk. Yeah, you know I. So, are you sure we're not going to do that? So my camp is cut, so I realize it now. I'm living in a new world. So the time don't pass, and I'm being a star. So my scars don't really make me feel like I'm happy. It's a weird thing. Because I can tell, uh, like you're part of the dopest artists I've seen at the house performing. You know, from, yeah. Like no cap, the whole squad. I'm there, like yo, damn, this is crazy. Like the whole squad is going in with bangers left and right, and it's like you guys are killing it. No cap. So on your side, how did you start off music again? And uh, on my side, I start off music by listening to a song. Listening to? A song. It's like any music. Music, so you are still trying to figure out which yeah, one? Yeah, which one? Is, yeah, yeah it's it's more like I'm fit out to be a drummer. But it's kind of messy. I'm not going to be a drummer. I'm just going to be a drummer. I see, I see, I see. So one thing I noticed about this particular crew, per se, is the fact that you guys move in crews. You know? And if you get a way and it's just one of you guys and by two, you figure like there's a whole squad. So shout out to everybody, you know, for pulling up. <laughs> I don't know if you want to show Google vlog and everything, but like yeah. basically you can do a shout out if you guys want to do that. <laughs> yeah, so shout out to the team actually. Yeah. I see you guys like every time you do a show, bro, it's like a whole squad and I'm like, damn bro, I got a squad, you feel me? They know because I know they watch my videos. They know with the key. Lately I've been productive, I've been doing the promotion and everything. But like they haven't really been putting up like most of the time you guys. I'm sure even the first time you see you saw me and stuff. Yeah. I was just moving real wise in the thing. Yeah. I was moving with a lot of you eye. Let me say that. <laughs> Bro, the, the name, the name I just use right now is like obviously I'm used to that one. So Lord you eye is new for me. So pardon me on, on that one, no cap. So another thing I wanna know from you guys is why hip hop? Why hip hop? Why hip hop? Hip hop is different, you know. Like you wanna move to tell the message. But I was with him. Manga keep a lane to the woman with the woman. They keep a right here. But yeah, hip hop is different. Or, yeah, it's different. You feel like you can express it fully. Yeah, though, to hip hop. Because I'm not going to lie, I, mean, I used to be one of those people. Um, I didn't really talk a lot. A lot of people can watch from me, grade 8, 9, 10. I didn't really speak a lot and everything until they figured out the team's music and then. Only then did they see with the key there's this different side of me yeah. whereby I can fully express certain emotions I don't really express in person. You feel me? I figured out with too long I was like that, uh offend was like that, you feel me. It's only now after the whole maturity thing, you feel me, we started, you know, opening up and doing the whole thing. For me basically it's simply because of the promotion. Figured out <laughs> So I figured out it's through promotion, but I gotta open up, I don't have a choice. Yeah. I don't have a choice. Because I know this is Tina. As I'm an artist, you feel me? We can do the recordings and do the mastering and everything, have dope music and everything. But what it finally ends up on is a promotion. You know, like, promotion that leads to numbers. We tell my numbers, why could they go high? You feel me? A lot of people supporting me and everything. So, just basically on the promotion, do you guys do a promotion? Yeah. And if you do promotion for music, how do you do it? Because I'm also going to share my side of how I do my own promotion. Social yeah. media. Yeah. Alright. It's the only way. No thing. So, so whenever I'm going to do my friend, I'm through social media. This thing is very important. It's an artist. Yeah. It's an artist. 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 So when you say Elink, which platform are you referring to? Most in the uh, Elink. Some on social, on social media platform. So I might use all of my So which um so which platform you say you know every time you think about promotion?
promotion and everything. Because I know it's always that one particular platform. I want to showcase the Nelson the music I chose. All those platforms that think are my numbers. And if your numbers are not right, you obviously not going to get the right things in front of you. So, which platform do you mainly focus on? Audio Mac. Audio Mac. So, I'm going to definitely put like a link in the description so that you guys can get their Audio Mac. You feel me? So, it's Audio Mac for you. Is it the same thing on your side? Alright, so what do you guys Audio Mac do? Okay, I'm gonna definitely do that. You guys gotta send me on my link in you for me. So that way I know for a fact to be to key. Description here on YouTube, you for me. I might post this video later on as I'm posting every other video I did on Facebook too. Post this one, and my links and everything. So that everybody knows it's key. The people I work with for me, the people I interview, definitely we do do um, a promotion for them. But basically, the whole point of this whole video, you feel me, this whole vlog, is basically to promote you guys. Like I said, you feel me? Because I'm also promoting, so I want to promote everybody with me, you feel me? As a celebration for basically reaching 250 subscribers on my side. Because I'm mainly promoting YouTube channel, you feel me? And these guys are promoting my audio and everything. So you guys, I really appreciate if you guys do go check them out. Because here for me, they are two dope artists before now. Actually, the whole squad is dope, but since we have a boy too right now, they are two dope artists. I've met it in a minute before me. So, another thing I want to know is who does your promote your production? Like the whole music recording, producing, mastering, and everything. That's what's up. That's what's up. Because I know for a fact I do my own too. Regardless of what you know, I report to a studio and everything, and we do the whole thing. And we to care as if I'm going to be releasing this particular project and everything. And then they have to approve. I still do my recordings, my masterings, and everything. Promotion, everything. What about I'm a cover art? Uh, different things. Okay. I do definitely want to see some of your works. So that I can put them on screen for me. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna put it over here right now, but I'm gonna do like a flash of all the artworks, or just four or five of the artworks that you've designed before you for me, in order to promote you as an artist who is also doing a lot of work and everything before me. So I see you guys also got like a lot of visuals on YouTube. Who does your visuals? Before. And one thing I noticed, yeah, I can't really show you guys because it's on this particular phone that's recording. Um, this is not the first time that we met. It's just that last time we didn't really communicate. I'm not sure if you guys remember when was the first time. Yeah. I saw just because before coming here, before coming to Lord you Ice Chris, I saw on the phone because I was searching him on Facebook, and then I realized that there was Heritage Day here at Skylight. So you then and then there was like, you see Fall Out Truth and uh, it's quite psychic, you know, shooting my videos and everything for Heritage Day. That was like back in 2021 or 2019, I think. And you guys were performing here. Yeah. So that's one thing I didn't realize. I was also part of the performing acts on that particular day. And on that particular day, it was the first time that I actually stepped up, you know, and started performing actually. So that was a big day to me. So I saw one of your pictures and you were performing here. And I'm like, oh damn, that means it's not the first time coming out. One way or another, we're about to meet and everything. Not that shy, Andy. What's good, bro? So basically, for my vlogs and everything, I don't want. I don't want anything perfect, you feel me? Like I said, it's not a podcast, it's a vlog whereby I do these vlogs and I'm an artist and you guys get to see the local talent that we already have around here in East Germany, you feel me? Hey, Dana! Open up! Whoa, 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 it's for me, it's for me, it's for So basically, what I'm saying is they are, the, you know, the dopest acts that I've seen in a minute. And I'm being honest, I'm going to show you guys the videos. And by the time this video drops, actually, I know for a fact that that's around the time the video. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm 
Don't want to say what's happening with that one, but as you guys hear, there is a little bit of noise and shouting in the background. Basically, yeah, I'm not gonna announce what's happening, but like, let's get on with the show before me. So, C4 does the, the visuals for you guys. So, I don't know if you know the person who lips stuff, because I heard the producer, Yaga Lipsy stuff, is a C4. So, do you guys link up with everybody, or is she part of the squad, or what's happening? About Craig and everything. Alright. So do you guys got songs with the people? That's what I want to know. So basically I know YouTube stuff. Cause I don't want I don't wanna have like you know whereby I'm doing all my links and everything and then I leave out certain links. I want you guys to send me it. Won't come my link when you come. That way I know I put out everything if I'm promoting everything for you guys. So I'm actually looking at the page Shilako and Sim Cruz. I see an S on the logo. What's happening there? <laughs> you see an S. Like S. The alphabet. Oh. Oh. <laughs> My bad. Jim. Like <laughs> what I'm saying is I see an S, the alphabet, on the artwork, where the artwork should be. So why is it that you got a YouTube page, but you don't have a cover art for me? Mm -hmm. And so a cover. My first biggest mistake. Yeah, this is my first mistake. <laughs> <laughs> outside the music, though, outside the music, he's saying it's his first biggest mistake. But the music is fire, so there's no mistake that I'm seeing right now. So, like I said, I'm gonna follow you. You follow me. I just subscribe to Sing Cruise channel. Um, do you also got a YouTube? Because my advice for every artist that I'm meeting, you feel me? I always advise some artists to be to care. YouTube is the right way to go. So basically what I'm saying is, before I got disturbed and everything is, Every artist that I meet up with, for me, I always tell them it's okay. YouTube is the right way to go, simply because on YouTube you got content out there, you know, forever. For me. Despite about this little kid, everybody you gotta pay and everything on YouTube, you basically don't have to pay for releasing your content and everything. Plus, the bonus side of YouTube is everybody has a YouTube. Even if they don't use YouTube or they don't know what YouTube is, everybody has YouTube. Even if you phone that, you cannot have. YouTube, see <laughs> one. Yeah. No, no one. <laughs> no, I'm saying you smile. You gotta ask something. No, I no. I for the current time, I'm not playing. I got this in Cali, Lenny, I'm negotiating. It's a lot. The current buffet. My place, place. Buffet. Top of me. I'm shooting in a music video, man. Ah, the music video. Ah, yes, honey. Ah, I'm going to make my my graphic information in Jalo Kim and in the buffet. And then we're busy mentioning truth in this video. No, So with truth, I wanna I wanna have like this picture, and I'm just gonna put it here at the corner. Any corner that's all, all on that particular catch you for me that shoots, it's gonna be right here. I don't know if you can show it this far, but like right here. <laughs> I'm gonna put it through so that you guys know who Truth is and who I'm talking about. You feel me? So, jumping back into it, um, you don't have a YouTube channel, all right? My first advice is just open the YouTube channel and start promoting it. That's the best way to go. You got all your content. You got the whole world having you. YouTube, regardless of best you know, you know, you know. Even if somebody wants to follow you, you should be able to be and everything. You, you can just go on EA Google straight. Type their YouTube. It's gonna open up and then they can follow you. So regardless of which you know, YouTube or you don't have YouTube, as long as you got an email, guys, come on. You guys can follow and support my artist and everything. You know, so. A lot of times I get the you know, a lot of people have been asking me, okay, 
do I speak this Zulu or do I rap in Zulu? Do you guys feel like, um, in a way, you do get asked those questions when like, you rap too much in English or you rap in Zulu? Or do you guys just balance the two by nature? Yeah, I said, why not? At the point, that's in there, I would say this too. Make you feel like rapping. Yeah. Exactly, that's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah, yeah that's probably that's what I'll say actually. That's what I'll say. Alright, so do you got a song? Do you guys believe with King King that you guys are gonna have a song about you rap strictly just in English or in Super Pack? Yeah. That's the same that's the same as me, no cap. I only got one song out. One song out titled Easy the Ways. Uh, it's the only song whereby I juggle between you for me. I rap in English and in Zulu, but mainly in English. But like the reason I titled the song Zulu Way is because Zulu Way means I'm taking the Zulu Way path before me. Regardless of me rapping in English, I'm gonna give people the flavor which is rapping in Zulu before me. It's not something I feel like, you know, I should be pressured about it with K Mind. Now I want I have to rap in Zulu simply because people are saying with K nah, uh, I'm choosing too much of a side. It's not about choosing sides, no cap. Simply like you said, choosing to do something that you're comfortable with before me. So, do you guys feel like you got questions that you want to ask me? Alright, on your side? No questions. I don't know what you're doing. Alright, on your side? No questions. I don't know what you're doing. What, what I'm giving, you know, the reason I call this summer vlogs and other podcasts is simply because it's not an interview. It's basically whereby we get to see the Islamites and just talk. So even if you got an insecurity, just a question that's like, you just randomly want to ask people in text or something, like now's the time to do it. It's a vlog, it's not an interview. So when your vlog is, you can ask pretty much everybody a question. Even your home is over, you can ask them a question and then have them answer or something. That's why it's a vlog. <laughs> All right, so I see nobody has a question for me, okay? But it's not a problem for me. It's not really about me. It's about it, yeah, in a way. But as time go, go on, you know, I know for a fact questions are going to be coming in and every day. All right, so with just music and visuals, do you guys see yourselves doing something other than music? Yeah, acting. Acting. Yeah. All right. For me, I know for a fact that the first step is animation. That's the first time I'm announcing right now. I've um, been trying to do animation, but simply because even laptop game can't really handle and my software, you know, I feel like as time progresses and everything, I will do like some animation, whether it's 2D or 3D for me. Acting definitely in the picture, but like, it's not like a main thing right now that I consider, but it means tempting, I'm not gonna lie. So why acting though? Corner one day things are gonna get better. Yeah, yeah. I see. I see. see. Even music videos, I see a lot of music videos going around whereby such shoots are happening for me from local artists. I get that I'm a bigger artist, they've been doing it for like centuries now, but like local artists are definitely stepping in. That's a fact. So like he's saying for me, I get that story. No lie. So one thing I wanna know from both of you guys is um with this whole music thing for me, have you faced my challenges whereby, you know, you couldn't record music or anything and you felt like you wanted to stop doing music or is it something whereby it was a phase in your life where you felt like, you know, there was too much pressure with life going on or something? Yeah, so that's all things are more challenges. But we were my challenges with me. But my last record, my name is Shabuli Gai. There's no, there's not much that I'm really structured. Yeah, so right then, yeah, I got something to enjoy. So yeah, I want to see the beauty of it. Yeah, yeah. I want to see the beauty of it. Yo, bro, damn. 
you know it's crazy whether it's the laptop that could be stolen or the computer that could be stolen or you crash or anything bro. And then you know you got so much work in it bro. and I was like that hurts, I'm not gonna lie. That hurts, I'm not gonna lie. So I wanna know from Sim Cruz for me. Um, who's your inspiration in music? And then uh, for how long? Oh, <laughs> Ten to twelve. Yeah. Ten to twelve. Yeah. Damn. I'm not gonna lie. Knowing the NF, I started knowing the NF roughly the beginning of last year. So I always knew, you know, the most popular artists and everything. But my main go-to artist was definitely Nas. See, for the longest, from Juice Back. But well, first time I heard Juice Back, I was like, shit. It's like he's doing something that I wanna do. No cap. And he's at the youngest of his age. For me. The age that he was, I think, it was like 17. My age just back and everything. You feel me? I know too much of the specifics. I might be wrong, but like I know too much of the specifics. Simply because I know that's my role model, I don't have and everything. I look up to him. You know, you feel me? So with the NF, you know, um, because I hear you listen to a lot of NF. You feel me? Is your inspiration? But how come is it that you know the sound? Like, yeah, he's my inspiration. You know? I cannot sound like my so roughly, I want to know your handle on your Mac. What's your handle on your Mac? Your Mac, yes. My Kanye it is in But do you have, do you already have the account on your Mac? So I wanna know the handle you use on all your mic. Come again? X lanes. X lanes. Yeah. Is it just X and lanes? No dash, nothing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lanes with a Z at the end. Okay, that's it. So for my X lanes, I also wanna know who's your inspiration for music. Okay, I can cut. I can kind of, you know, piece the two, but I don't wanna say, it, you know, and be wrong. You know what you told me. I always wanna have the artist, you know, confirm. I need to keep by the artist that I'm following and everything. Same as the access to True World. We did an interview with that kid, you feel me? And I could tell who's a kid. Who won the XXX <laughs> sensation or whatever? I don't wanna say it because I know I'm always wrong really since kid. I have to. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. I don't like saying such names because it's difficult. But I can tell this kid. He's on that side for me. Why is it only names? Why is it only names? Yes. You know, it's like you know, that's just because I go music or shy or shy. I have more magazine. Message. I'm gonna tell you that man, struggle music or facing out. Okay, I couldn't now. You know. It inspires you in a way that you know that one or another. If he can do it. Yeah. I can also do it. Yeah, um, yeah. I relate too much on that one because look at one of popular artists, the bigger artists mainly from, from obviously oh who nasty see. Didn't have a budget in anything, but look at how big he is right now. Like you say, Tory Lane, same thing, but there's a lot of artists out here that didn't have a big Sakula and everything, but like right now they're actually bigger artists and they're actually killing doing music. So it's an inspiration to hear such stories, no cap before me. And I'm actually glad that you guys pulled up, you know, today. So that I can actually show, you know, the people the talent that you guys have before me. And because I know most of the people I have on my channel don't really know you guys before me. And I'm pretty sure that the people in your channel that are following you guys, some of them might not know me, you know. So in a way, this could be like a small kind of collab whereby we actually expose that talent to people on both ends, you feel me? So keep on pushing, guys. I'm not going to lie. You guys are headed the right direction. Dope music, uh, supportive, supportive squad, you feel me? Always really got your role with you. I feel like that's dope, bro. And that's actually dope, having somebody who speaks with you from like high school level and like way back and you guys are still pushing even after, after high school because a lot of times I'm not gonna lie um, if it wasn't for Uluma I would have quit music like a long time ago 
a long time ago, no lie. I had a time in my life where I was like, as in, I can't really record music. I've been to five studios, still I get gold film recorder and everything, you feel me? So, it's only now that people are hearing you know, my songs and everything, and they want my help, and my collaborations, even after whatever they did back then and everything. So, do you guys have a bunch you feel me? That didn't want to help out with you guys back then and everything, but then now they feel like, you know, they entitled to have a certain picture with you guys. Yeah, that's not a shitty little thing. I'm not going to be able to do not a chance like us. I'm not going to be able to do music like us. Trust me, Trust me, I had I had those. I had those. I had I had I had I I had I I had I I Shoot it like us, or break it like us, like to do, and they may be far. Or break it like to do. They look like 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 they look Exactly. And another thing I noticed, which is, you know, whenever you meet an artist that already have it, you don't have it, you feel me? Um, not everybody, you feel me? There's that 2% or something, you feel me, roaming around out there. But like, most of them, you feel me, they don't wanna, they don't wanna help you in certain ways, even having your first track or anything, simply because you don't have anything to offer. Yeah. Can't we like, just look at the situation for what it is, in a way, Whereby we did like okay, regardless what's okay, it's not a future you feel me. But the person that I'm helping right now, I'm helping them simply because I can see what's okay. The person is inspired, you know, they have that drive and motivation and they wanna do this, but they still looking for a start. I mean I feel like same as the C4 is doing for me. Almost every artist that I'm meeting in Mobile Run, they always mention the C4. They're recording with C4, you know, he's doing this and that for them and everything. That's a big shout out to C4, no cap. Because he's actually doing what I'm talking about before me. I feel like he looks at the situation and be like, you know what? Um, he is an artist for me. I definitely wanna wanna know the story side, can you hear me? That's why I wanna have more vlogs, but last time I was supposed to vlog with the C4, um, the situation came up like a very bad situation, we couldn't really pull up. But I'm really glad with KS in. From that situation, nothing really extreme happened before me. Maybe I'm more just being sad because you know she doesn't really wanna open up to talking about certain things or doing music or anything. Like shout out to C4, no okay? cap. I'm pretty sure everybody can vouch for C4. Yeah. That's like by far one of the you know what can I say? Humorous producers of kind of langa pandi from you know Ubuntu before C4 is the definition of Ubuntu music. I'm not gonna lie. If you guys know what Ubuntu is, you know you should know who C4 is. Because it's like the definition of that. And shout out to Two Shots. I don't know, do you guys know who Two Shot is? So Two Shot is a producer from APT, you feel me? Part of the, the studio team I work with, we call ourselves Musical Pride. So if it wasn't for Two Shot, no cap, I feel like me doing music the way I'm doing right now wouldn't be a thing for me. But as much as I did not record my first song with him before me, um, it was helpful enough to see as well. I'm convinced the things I didn't know and the things I was interested in knowing and everything. No cap, I'd, I'd walk to a studio like from level to level. Be gone for like, I'm a month, no cap, level to level every day consistently. Go to a studio um, just to check what's going on. Put the Saranja and Second Saranja and my artist and everything. So that I know I'm, I'm gonna gain information and everything on what's going on. I should do things and everything. So shout out to Utu Shot, shout out to Musi for two main people that I've heard about for doing it for my artist before me. So who do you guys wanna do a shout out to? Abanya, right here. Right? You are. I shout out to the High Life Gang, you feel me? I mean, looking forward to knowing you guys, you feel me? If you guys want to be known and everything and do all my interviews, I mean, I pretty much invite any artist. I'm called like Putin Strand, you feel me? With the profile that I have, just to go to my exposure now, you feel me? That's, that's my motive basically, just exposing my artists because I know um, a lot of times when I was doing, just still coming up and everything for me and I wasn't really as popular as I am right now. 
whenever I do my mentions of the big names and everything, people would ask me, which kid you know, and I'm like, what? The fact that I know him and I'm not popular means you should know him too. So that's like something I want to dissolve right now by putting you guys on and putting maybe artists on and for me. So shout out to your High Life Gang, you know me, shout out to Tisha, shout out to C4, you know me. Um, you see for Do you guys want to add on something? That's not like mention, right? You feel like you want to add on. Mention, yeah. 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 Follow, yeah. 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 definitely, guys. Follow yeah. them on all the platforms. I'm gonna put my link in the description. You yeah. see me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, link in the description. You guys check those out. I'm gonna put a link in the description. Put the information in every video, even mine, so that you guys. On me, I'm gonna put just Instagram simply because that's another thing that I'm making really YouTube for me. Just YouTube. Instagram on Instagram is YouTube. That's how I'm taking it. So with the promotion, people so we, we touched on the promotion and everything. And we didn't really discuss on my side how I do my promotion and everything for me. So on my side how I do my promotion now is basically social media what you say for me. Social media is the main way to go in for me. Um, I feel like on social media we got more to finish the Pretty much you post things at your pace, you feel me? You post anything that you feel like is deserving for the world to know about you and your music, you feel me? The niggas access your to key now, you're not being controlled if you're managing your social media and everything. So on Facebook, obviously, I do on my hashtag. Check for my training hashtag, like the FYP. Um, let me see. Uh, hip hop, hip hop, mode type of hashtag hip hop. Obviously, like, it's like a mahara in terms of the case. I was about to be the size like millions and millions too. So when you do my hashtag, I'm a post on those hashtags and everything. So it's it's a versatility of promotion and everything. So I'm not I'm sure you guys know about this whole thing. Yeah, we do this is from the South Coast, yeah, post yeah, yeah, this video, yeah, cool. just to reach our audience, a yeah, much bigger audience yeah. and everything. Obviously it has on the prices, let's say for 50 rand you can reach um, 250 people per week or something. Uh, yeah, it's really there. I don't really fully know it off by head. But then doing young general research, I know it's a kid. Like, I'm a part of the week, I'm a the mental level things, I'm an artist before me. And me basically talking about it on these videos and giving you guys access to what you can replay and actually check what I'm saying, you know, what I'm talking about and everything and make reference so that you can write it down, implement and get enough for me skills and everything. Plus, when it comes to either a song or a project, I promote each and every song and every promotion I've done with people. Say if you keep it single, I promote it single like crazy. Posted, uh, doing my hashtags, like I said. Um, right now, I'm, a, I'm, I'm about to start, I'm posting everything, so it's going to be a major thing for me since I have half of my first target. So, whenever you first subscribe to the channel, that means, you know, the access that you get, it's not just simply the series one. So for everybody who subscribes to the channel, I mean, um, 500 subscribers, I'm going to release up and then I'll you for me. But for every 100 that I hit, let's say I hit my first 100 subscribers, I release a song. 200 is another song, 300 is another etc. And then, when I get to 1,000 subscribers, that's where the catch is. Because on 1,000 subscribers, I'm not gonna lie, I want like the best music video shoot ever before me. I know I'm local and everything, I know I still got a long way to go and everything, but like I want a professional video. So with that professional video that I'm gonna be shooting when I get to a thousand subscribers is um for everybody who subscribe to the channel I'm, I definitely invite everybody two months in advance of go see King. Everybody, each and everyone. There's gonna be days and I'm gonna shoot a corner obviously and I'm gonna put out those days and everything. So Everyone on Wusak Ogo channel um, can text me up, you know, hit me up, and by sending location a week before I go to Facebook, so we'll be doing everything, shooting away and everything. So if you subscribe to the channel, um, just know, benefit, you're going to be releasing video. I don't care how many people fill up, no cares. But everybody's going to be releasing video because that's a celebration for me for reaching a thousand subscribers. So for everybody, if it's your first time watching just the channel um, and everything in this video that I'm doing, Subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notifications, and definitely leave them a comment on every video that I'm doing. You feel me? 
So shout out to everybody who's been yeah. subscribed to your channel. They have not subscribed to some things, you know. Subscribe to X True Lane, right? X Lanes, X Lanes. In my head, I still got X X True Worlds, no cap. But like X Lanes, definitely. Subscribe to them before me. Like I said, link in the description. Subscribe to them and everything. Follow them on their social media platforms. So go up a holiday. We out. So thank you guys for holding out. No cap. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to you guys. I don't even got a secret. No cap. So you guys feel like you want to do my freestyle for a sick day. Like I said, I don't have a speaker. It would be nice having a speaker just saying I'm a type beauty for me. Just freestyle and everything. We need a freestyle no food. No cap. So you guys are going to see one of the vlogs. Let's see. Look at my vlog too. He was like, no, freestyle, like you said. So we did a freestyle. I brought out the speaker and we just freestyle and everything. So shout out to them for putting up the out. Sorry, <laughs> thank you, gents. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm uh send you guys a man to subscribe um on time to go to our YouTube and everything. So if you guys can be a man of the day, so I'm going to Yeah, 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 I don't care what business it is.